Previously in the Quick Snack series, we have covered the pen tool, selections, and how to draw simple shapes. In this episode, we're going to cover the basics of the pencil tool. Pencil tool is N on your keyboard, or you can press this little icon right here. So this one does both open or closed path. If you were to just draw a line here, it will, for example, you can do a simple open path here and you can also do a closed path. When you get close to the beginning point, you will see the little circle appearing right next to your cursor. That just shows you that you're about to close this path. So I'm just going to let go of my mouse and here is my close path. When you have this pencil tool selected, you can double click to bring out the pencil tool options. For the first slider, it basically lets you decide how much of automatic correction you want for your line. In my case, I want my line to be smooth. So even if I have shaky hands for some reason, it will still make my line relatively smooth. And you also have a bunch of options here. I really like the keep selected, which means that after I finish drawing my line, it will still keep it selected. In this way, I can correct it if I want to. For example, let me just get rid of these guys. Say if I draw a line here using the pencil tool, as you can see, it's still selected. Let me just change my anchor points color to a brighter one, maybe this pink one. Okay, hopefully you can see better from here. It's still selected. Say that I want the tail to be at a different angle. I can draw like this. It will automatically correct my course. I find this function really helpful. So let's go back to the menu, see what else we have. I also like to have the option key toggles to smooth tool checked. This is super helpful when you want to draw and smooth your curves in one go. For example, let's go back to this guy. If I hold my option key on the keyboard, this will switch over to smooth tool. So I can, well, this line is pretty smooth already, so you might not be able to see. Let me just turn down the smooth level to here and I click on OK. So if I draw a very jagged line, but I want to smooth certain points, let me just zoom in a little bit. By the way, I'm holding spacebar so that I can move things around with the hand tool. And then I still have the pencil tool selected. If I hold the option key, it will toggle back to smooth tool. So this will simplify my path. This toggle is really helpful because when you're drawing, the last thing you want to do is to switch back and forth and break the flow. So let's go back. By default, pencil tool only draws paths. Even if you do have a fill color, when you draw a line over here, it will only record the path. So to fix that, you can double click to take out your pencil tool option check this fill new pencil strokes and then click on OK. Actually, I want to make it smooth and then click on OK. In this case, you want to have a new fill color. And then when you draw, your line will also have a fill. So that's how you can have both stroke and fill. Personally, I like to keep it off. But I also want to show you what this one does. Anyways, let's keep going down the list. This one is close path when ends are within a certain amount of pixels. Basically, when I draw a closed path, as you can see, as soon as I'm within my threshold, my self-defined threshold, the cursor shows me that I'm about to close the path. 
So depending on the accuracy that you want for your own work, you can define your own threshold right here. You can also define the threshold of your edit select path option. This one basically affects the edit. Say if I want to draw on top of this, the threshold affects if you want the illustrator to draw a new line or if you want to just edit the old line. So when you define the edit selected paths threshold will help, will help Illustrator to read your mind a little bit better. So that's all we have for Pencil Tool. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Go check out my Skillshare classes by clicking the link below to get a free trial. I will see you next time.